I have a super exciting update for you all that you won't believe. I have been buying up new queens and colonies to restore our collection to be better than ever. AK Colony, our collection has never been so diverse. Keep watching to the end to see all of our new queens and colonies. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Ant Keeper, where I upload every week about all things ant related. If you find yourself enjoying this video, then subscribe and join the AK Colony. Your support really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Picking a favorite part about ant keeping is like picking your favorite flavored ice cream. The more you think about all the different flavors you love, the harder it becomes to pick your favorite. For me, ant keeping this week has been exactly like that. I think that opening new packages of colonies, slowly peeling back the bubble wrap, and eagerly anticipating what is inside is the best part about ant keeping. But then something completely unexpected happened. Something that made me feel that you, AK Colony, that you are the best part about ant keeping. Keep watching to see what I mean. The first new addition to our collection is this Mimesia Nicrocenta Queen. I gladly bought this new queen to replace our last Nicrocenta colony that unfortunately didn't make it after the war. If you don't know what I mean, recently our collection was under attack from an invading army of wild ants. A devastating war that wiped out many from our collection. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out, I'll leave the link in the description below. As some of you may already know, the Mimesia Nicrocenta was my first ever bull ant. So of course they're my favourite species. And I think they're hard not to love. The striking colours, clearly displayed to warn off predators, and their amazing ability to jump as they wander, make them easily my favourite species of Mimesia. Next up, I bought a Nicrocenta colony from Amazing Animals Australia. I saw this for sale and I just had to have it. I've been wanting a colony of bull ants for a little while now and I just couldn't pass up this opportunity as soon as I saw it advertised. As soon as I received this colony, I quickly moved them into their current setup. Here I connected the test tube which they arrived in to a small plastic box which acts as a connection so they have choices. Because who doesn't like choices, right? They can either move into the Ozans founding acrylic nest or stay where they are in the test tube. Also on the other side of the connection is the outworld where I place their food. So far they are perfectly happy living inside their test tube which is in this red box that's wrapped in aluminium foil. In my experience most ants either can't see when they're covered by a red shield or just aren't bothered by me when there's a shield over them. Ball ants on the other hand stare straight into your soul from across the room with or without the red shield. Therefore, I keep this red box mostly to keep the test tube level and the foil to keep them feeling safe and secure. What I'm most excited about this colony is the sheer amount of brew this queen has produced. I mean, look at it. To keep this colony growing, I've been regularly offering crickets as their protein source, which they'll take like ice cream on a hot day. It doesn't end there though. I ordered just a colony of Nicrocenta from Amazing Animals Australia. But something amazing happened. I was also sent a free Nicrocenter Queen with one worker. A bonus queen gifted to us to support the channel. Amazing Animals Australia, thank you so much for your generosity. AK Colony, show some love and check out their Instagram account. This fiercely huge bull ant, formerly known as Mimesia nicroceps, is a new species that I have never owned before. Now, when I say they're huge, I mean they're massive. I have never seen such a big ant before. These workers are about 2 centimeters in length. They're absolute beasts with appetites to match. These girls eat honey and devour crickets like I have never seen before. Unfortunately, due to the way I have housed this colony, we can't get a clear inside look inside the test tube yet. 
I'm not real keen on putting my hands inside just in case I catch an unsightly love bite from one of the workers. For those who may be wondering, I am currently having a housing crisis of sorts. Let me explain. The nests I want I can't get because they're not in stock and I can't find out when the stock will return. For now, I'm going to make do with the mother-in-law's Tupperware containers until I can either buy the nest I want or I have to research what other options will work for us. When I bought this small colony from Ants Canberra, it wasn't all good news initially. Sometimes when I buy ants, they don't always survive the express postage trip, which typically takes one to three days to arrive to my house. I have found that most colonies generally lose at most one worker or maybe two, and rarely does the queen die. However, when I bought this queen and workers, they were all dead on arrival. And you know what? These things happen. I spoke to Ants Canberra and we both concluded that it was bad luck and left it at that. After that conversation, I moved on and completely forgot about it. Then a week later, a mysterious package arrived. It was this colony, a replacement for the first ones that died. Thank you, Ants Canberra. You didn't have to replace it, but you did. AK Colony, be sure to check out their Instagram too. Ants Canberra is actually the gift that keeps on giving. They also sent over four queen ants with brood for free. If you've been watching on this channel for a little while, you would know that meat ants are one of my absolute favorite ants. Their reputation for being fiercely territorial, their gorgeous purple red colors, and opulently designed queens are just a few reasons why they're in my top three favorite ants. Recently, our meat ant colony was wiped out by the war, but the invading army spared the brood. Now, this was a golden opportunity to try something I have never done before. Here was my first attempt at brood boosting. For those who don't know, brood boosting is where you get undeveloped workers from one colony and donate it to another colony of the same species. Honestly, after donating this much brood, I was unsure if the new mum could even manage this new army of brood from a possible mold outbreak. At the time though, some of the workers were only days away from taking their first steps. Thankfully, the first worker was only 36 hours away and the second worker was not much longer than that. Ants Canberra also gifted me three Campanose queens with brood. I'm not certain on their exact species, so I'll have to wait for the workers to arrive before I can confirm exactly what I think they are. However, if you have an idea on their species, share it below, I'd love to know. Lastly, I have also bought an established meat ant colony. This colony arrived in a test tube, which I immediately connected straight to a small outworld. Unfortunately, many of the workers died during shipping, although I'm not too worried, simply because of what the queen is hiding inside. Check out the amount of brew this queen is watching over. How many can you count? Clearly this colony will be experiencing a population explosion soon and will require a bigger nest to replace the test tube. This colony will no doubt quickly replace our fallen meat ant colony. Thank you AK Colony for helping out and making the ants keeping community great. Support those that support us. If you made it this far then make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, it really helps me out. Also have you subscribed and become part of the AK Colony? If you haven't, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe and join the ants keeping community and be a part of one of the fastest growing colonies here on YouTube. I'd like to know from you, what is your favorite bull ant? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, ants keepers unite.